This is planet Wasp. 12b, which is so close to its home star that it's been stretched to shape like this egg or pill shape. Hello everybody, my name's Calvin. Welcome back to Space Engine. You guys left a ton more suggestions of places to go, so we're gonna go through them today. All right, so once again, this is Wasp 12b and Telly's Country Balls actually left this suggestion, so thank you. Um, and I just wanna see, like, look at this planet. Oh, I accidentally like flew inside of it. If we turn on a realistic lighting, so like if you could adjust your exposure enough, this is what it would look like instead of like that orange color. But that backside is still glowing hot, very hot. And there's its star. It is so close to its star. That's crazy. All right, we got a suggestion to go to Europa. So let's search Europa. Europa is one of Jupiter's major moons. And here it is. You can actually see it's got like these scratches on the surface, which actually look really cool. And you can see Jupiter there in the background. It'd be very cool to like be on Europa and look at Jupiter. So I'm actually gonna land on the dark side over here. So if you were on Europa, whoa, they even have like, why are the rocks so shiny? That's kind of weird. And then you looked up, there's Jupiter. That looks really cool. I can't even imagine seeing Jupiter with your own eyes. It'd be crazy. You can see there's an eclipse happening right there. But there's Europa, looks really cool. All these like scratches in the surface look really cool. All right, we got a suggestion. Try to find a planet or anything from Earth by zooming if it's possible. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna land on Earth at night. This is like Africa area. Let's go like Northern Hemisphere because that's what I know better. We'll go here. Okay, so this is Earth at night. So you can see there's the Milky Way. Pretty cool. Is this a planet here? Yeah, this is Mars, that little dot right there. So we're just gonna zoom in on it. Oh, you can start to see it. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Yes, there's Mars, and this is Phobos and Deimos. That's Phobos, and that one's Deimos. So yeah, if you can zoom in enough, you can see it. And that's Valles Marineras right here, which is the biggest canyon in the solar system, actually. How far can you zoom? The detail is crazy. It won't let me zoom in anymore. That's as far as you can zoom in. I'm standing on the surface of Earth right now, zooming in on Mars. That's really cool. There's the Pleiades, Seven Sisters constellation. And you probably can see Orion too, somewhere. Is that Orion? Oh yeah, Orion right here. If you ever see this shape in the night sky, that's Orion, the Orion Nebula. Pretty cool. There's actually another nebula right here too. This one's the, the Flame Nebula. Earth says fly into the sun. Okay, so let's, we're on Earth right now, so let's go Let's zoom out so we're not on Earth anymore. And then there's the sun. So let's just try to fly into it. Let's try to not miss it. It's very bright. Okay, here we go. <gasps> there it is. Okay, here's the sun. You can see all the sunspots and stuff. And let's land right next to him. Boom. So you can't actually fly inside of it, but you can land on it. And this is what it looks like. Pretty whack. Sunspots look pretty cool though, up close. And look, you can even like get the mountains and stuff. Look like mountains. But we actually, we're going a thousand kilometers every second. That's crazy. You gotta go so fast to even travel anywhere around it. Can you look for habitable planets in a three star system? Okay, so let's try to find life in a three star system. So what we're gonna do is go to our star browser and then go to filter settings and change our sun count to three. And then what we're gonna do is change organic life to multicellular. So this should search for three star systems that have life. Let's change our search radius up. Go, search. It didn't find a single one. We're gonna need to fly somewhere else. Okay, we're too close to our solar system. Okay, let's go, let's still do the Milky Way, but let's do like over here, far away from our system. And let's search again. Oh, here we go. Okay, we're getting a lot. Okay, this one, let's check it out. So it should be a three star system. Yes. Okay, so here's two stars that are orbiting binary. Yeah, so there's all three stars. So here's two of them that are orbiting each other, and then this third one is orbiting all three. Oh, it's a moon. Okay, so there's actually a planet that orbits all three stars. This planet. It's outside of all three of the stars, and this planet's moon right here has life. Subglacial life, but it does have life. Boom. That's kind of disappointing. Let's make our filters better so we get a better life. Okay, this triple system does have life. So there's the two stars. Where's the third star? 
Oh, is it with a brown dwarf? Yeah, okay. Here's a brown dwarf. That is part of it. So it technically counts it as a three-star system. Whoa, this planet looks cool. Check this one out. Whoa. Purple rings on it. Let's get realistic lighting. That's a cool planet. And this is the one with life. One of its moons has life. Also subglacial. That's so lame. But yeah, this one technically is life. Squarey says, can you go to the Pillars of Creation? Yes, we can. Pillars of Creation. So the Pillars of Creation are actually a very famous nebula. Um, it's in the Eagle Nebula. So here's a picture of the Pillars of Creation from the Hubble. And then here it is in the game. So, I mean, it doesn't look as cool. But here it is. Let's actually turn our exposure up so we can kind of see. Here it is. It doesn't look as cool in the game. I wish it did. Um, but yeah, here's the Pillars of Creation. So here's the Eagle Nebula. Here's a real picture of it. And then the Eagle Nebula in the game is right here. So yeah, there's that. Can you try Pluto? Yes, we for sure can go to Pluto. Pluto. All right, here's Pluto. Pluto used to be a planet, but it no longer is, which is very sad. You can see it's moon Sharon right here. Uh, let's go land on Pluto and see what it's like. Whoa, these are like some pretty tall mountains and stuff. Pretty cool looking. You can see the texture loads even on the, the surface. So here's Pluto. Oh, it's so rough. It's like, it's like I could imagine what it would feel like. <laughs> so there's Pluto in Space Engine. And then Sharon right here is Pluto's moon. And here's what that looks like. All these little craters, you can actually go inside, which is cool. Pretty cool. Can you go to a random galaxy? Yes. So let's turn on HDR. So here's the Milky Way. So we can just fly out of the Milky Way if we speed up enough. And yeah, we left the entire Milky Way. And actually all of these dots are other galaxies. So let's like fly super far. So all of these galaxies we would never be able to go to because they're so far. This one looks brighter than the rest. I wonder why. So yeah, you can just click on one and then press G and it'll actually just take you there. So here it is. Um, I don't know why it's shaped like that. That looks kind of disappointing. Let's, let's go to a different one. <sighs> this one over here looks bright. Here we go, this one looks cool. And then, yeah, you can just fly inside of it and pick any star. So here's a star, this one looks brighter than the rest. It's a binary system. And then you can click this here and just go to any of the planets. It's binary with a black hole? What? That's cool. I've not seen these very often, but here's the black hole it's binary with. That's really cool. And then you can just go to like one of these planets and just land on any planet you want. It'll load in and yeah, here it is. Here's the, I guess the galaxy is like right on of it, right on its horizon. But there's the super bright star. I wonder where's the black hole? There's planets orbiting the black hole. This is the closest one to the black hole. That's cool. Yeah, so there's a random galaxy. Go to Wasp-12b and Haumea to see if they are shaped like eggs in the game. So Wasp-12b is that planet we saw at the start, but we can go to Haumea. Haumea is a dwarf planet. And I'm pretty sure it is shaped like an egg and even has its ring. Yes. So here's Haumea, dwarf planet, which is spinning so fast that it's shaped like this. Um, we can actually play time and you can see that it's spinning like that. And it has a ring on it, which is pretty cool. Kind of want to land on it while it's spinning. This seems like a bad idea. Ah, uh, okay. We got caught. Okay. We're on it now. And so that's the day and night cycle. How fast is time going? Not even that fast. Let's put it in real time and see if we can see it moving. I mean, you can't, but if you put it like just like a little bit faster, 10 times, you can see it's moving. So it moves pretty fast. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you want to see more Space Engine, leave a like and also put your suggestions of more places to go in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Thank you to my patron Borg and I'll see you guys next time.